Hey, Cortland, uh, just what are your expectations, you know, going into fall camp after this offseason? Um, starting on with all the camp and all the offseason training, you know, I'm just going in and getting them all, you know, perfecting my craft and, you know, just relying on what I've learned from coach and everything that I've picked up to this point so far. What was the offseason like? What do you feel like you grew or you changed anything? 100%, you know, gains on top of gains, getting faster, stronger, you know, just mentally prepared for everything that I'm uh, about to, you know, embark on uh, in this upcoming season, you know. So every day I attacked, you know, I had an intent going in, uh, going hard every day. So obviously Bobby Haskins wasn't there in the, in the spring. He's here in the summer. Um, what is that relationship like with you guys, you know, going for that left tackle? Oh, yeah, it's, it's good, of course. I mean, we compete, of course, you know, and as competitors, and that's my uh, brother, you know, he's on the line with me. But, you know, we're going to continue to make each other better, you know, learn from each other and just, you know, go out there and give it everything we got. What's been the room like this offseason? Just, I saw you guys, you know, going out to dinner, you know, pool parties and stuff. What, what's that been like? Yeah, it's been great, you know, with, with building a culture, you know, you got to be tight with your brothers and going out and doing the little things like, you know, getting closer, you know, going out to eat, just spending time one on one. Another, another, because at the end of the day, when we down on the line, we got to trust, you know, the person next to us to do their job. Will you only be working at left, or will there be some experiment experimentation with the right? Or I do have experiment with the right, but as right now, I've been working with left. Okay. Any interior working as well, or is it just tackling? No, I, you know, I do know how to uh, work guard, but as of right now, and what I've been training for is the left tackle strictly. Okay. Uh, you guys added a new guy, Cooper Lovelace. Uh, what have your been impressions of him? Big guy, you know. A lot of loads of talent, you know. He got a lot of flexibility that guys, you know, pray for, you know. And at this position, having that leverage and that flexibility to be able to recover or, you know, just sustain a certain block, you know, is really important for, you know, this position. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to see what he got, got to bring to the table this uh, ball count. What were your first impressions of him when you met him? Uh, first impression, cool guy, you know, cool, laid back guy, you know, um, very welcoming. You know, he's a cool guy, and I knew that he was going to fit in perfectly. How's the communication going among you guys? I mean, you guys have played together a long time. There's still some new pieces, but I mean, as far as the whole line, yeah, um, you know, chemistry has continuously, you know, gotten better since the first year I've gotten here. But being able to, you know, soak in all of this time that I've been able to, you know, play and you know, go adjust in different schemes, like the chemistry still was there. You know, the studying, you know, the time off, you know, the the, the studying without the coaches being there, all of that stuff, you know. Plays in a, a big part of this organized chemistry for sure. How much do you feel like the culture grew? from spring to now? Extremely. You know, all the work that we put in and, you know, just the loads of talent that we know we have, we just got to put it together, you know, and we're still striving to do that. And I'm just so I'm just so ready for this fall camp, you know, just to get everything rolling and, you know, just get back in the pads again. You, know. you ready to hit somebody? Man, I can't wait. It's been a good, good year, for real. Did anyone stand out on the defensive side of the ball for you, just in PRPs and stuff? Um, you know, you know, guys like Thule, you know, Melo, Corey Foreman, you know, uh, you know, Eric, you know, they have loads of talent on the D-line, you know, and of course I'm studying my opponents, you know, and, and, and try to make them, make me better. You know, I want, I want to give my everything, give, throw everything at them so they can throw everything at me. We can just, you know, learn from each other and just, you know, have a great battle, a great competition. We've seen Corey, you know, come off the edge and stuff, but not so much from Melo, just because he's new. What's your analysis of him as a, as a pass rusher? Yeah. Quick, to, uh, quick twitch, you know, when, when, he put, when, he, when he puts it together, you know, it's going to be real scary. He's going to be one of those guys for sure. He got the frame, he got the mindset, you know, just I, like this fall camp right here is going to, you know, he's going to continue to grow like everybody's going to continue to grow and get better. So I'm really ready to see what he's going to do as well. We talk a lot about, you know, summer PRPs for the, the skilled players. You know, obviously they're, they're running routes and stuff. What are the offensive line do in PRPs? Um, PRPs, you know, is we run a whole bunch of plays, you know, get that locked in our head. You know, also with independent work, you know, technique, you know, things that that affect our craft. So, you know, just constantly drilling those things to get that installed in our mind, like muscle memory. You know, it only you know show itself in practice. You know, what's one technique thing you really wanted to hit on this summer? Quiet, low hands, and really strong at the point of contact. You know, 
I'm just getting, uh, you know, establishing my ground and bringing a fight to the guys. What are quiet hands? Uh, it's like a kind of run, and run blocking, you kind of like, you like shoveling kind of technique where you go down under and low quiet hands because you don't want to just be out of control. So quiet hands, low, and when you come in contact, you got to whack You know, just a technique that you, you guys will see, you know, in the squad camp. You'll see the things that we've implemented and just those training repetitively over and over again to, so, you know, put it in force. How does your body feel compared to January to, you know, one day before fall? Yeah, I feel like a unit. I feel strong. You were a unit when you came to me. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I, was, I thought that, you know, just, you know, developing over and over again and being able to hold my body, you know, to the way that, you know, it's supposed to be. You know, I feel good. I'm, I'm heavier, stronger, faster, you know, and, and my mental is, is way better. You know, I'm more adjusted. So I feel like this, this for sure, I'll put things together. Caleb Williams said at a media day that uh, the offensive linemen have six packs. Is that true? Say yeah. that again? Caleb Williams said at media day his offensive lineman has six packs and stuff. Uh, oh, of course. You know, the six pack, the six pack don't always have to be visible. But guess what? Everybody got a six pack. You know, just put your mind to it. You know, it's gonna show. You know, fat pack, six pack. Six pack is a six pack. Caleb said he's been taking you guys out on Sundays or hanging out on Sundays. What have you guys been doing? Uh, you know, going out to eat, you know, just getting closer, you know, creating conversations, you know, just spending quality time with each other, you know, getting closer and just build that trust upon us because, you know, we're going to be blocking for him and he's going to be behind us, so he's going to have to trust us, you know, and he's going out, establishing a relationship, getting to know us personally, you know, aspect rather than football, you know, it's been really good. And expect also getting to know him other than football has been great. Where are some places he's taking you to eat? Because obviously feeding an entire room of offensive linemen ain't, ain't cheap. Man, I'm not quite sure on this one spot, but it was this one spot downtown. It was really good. It was a lot of food, you know, and, you know, he took care of us really well, and I still appreciate it. What's something that you feel like you've learned from Andrew Voorhees? Obviously, the old man in the room, played in so many games, started so many games, been here a long time. What, what is something that you've learned from him? And I figure like you learn something every year from him that you've been around him, but what's something you recently learned from him? Man, so, you know, being a, being a tackle, you know, you have a great guard that has lots of experience. You know, it just makes my job even easier, you know, and also rotates down the line with a center that also knows what he's talking about, you know, and it's just on point with the call outs. It just makes it so much easier, you know, for everybody because it's just a one unit. You know, so, you know, playing next to Voorhees and that chemistry and just understanding that he he's there and he knows what he's doing. He's going to get his job done. You know, just communication aspects and just being able to talk and build that chemistry. You know, it's been great, you know, playing against him. I mean, playing alongside him. Is there anyone on the offensive line, maybe a, a depth guy or a backup guy that you've seen grow through the summer, like someone that we're not talking about? Uh, most definitely, you know, uh, Mason Murphy. You know, that's my boy. You know, um, he, he's he's one of those. If he figures it out, once he, when he figures it out, he's gonna you know be a real special. Player, you know, he's been working real hard. You know, and like the future is really bright. For him. Haskins is obviously an older guy. You know, he started multiple games. Is there anything you've learned from him? Like you can pick his brain about just him having left tackle experience as well. Yeah, you know, it, it goes into little details. You know, anything. You know, I'm open here and little details and be able to help each other. You know, as far as hand placement, what which way to strike. You know, all things, you know, that that it, it, it takes lots of, lots of training, but being able to have, you know, that guy you know, or the guys on my line to be able to help me fix my game, you know, it's been a bonus for me.